Oh, hello guys, welcome back. <laughs> Look, he's back here giggling. I just realized, do you know how you grow up in your family and you don't think there's anything wrong or unusual about your family? My grandmother started me off playing Go Fish, and then when she thought I was old enough, don't tell your mother. Don't tell your mother. We played a nice card game. It's called Poker. You may have heard of it. I haven't played in decades, like literally over three decades, but it's amazing how fast you pick it back up. <laughs> I did have to go watch a um, poker video just to, like, refresh myself. And I'm like, this is what my grandmother taught me. She taught me poker. She, like, came up with this pretend name for it. And we would bet. <laughs> so my grandmother taught me how to gamble. So did my grandfather. So, yeah, my grandparents on my mother's side taught me to gamble. So <laughs> and taught me how to mark cards, come to think of it. Oh, I don't know what they did in their off time, but they must have lived an interesting life because they liked to dance, they had attended dances, they played poker. Yeah, they must have lived an interesting life. They were horrible people, but they taught me how to gamble. So, <laughs> so there's a free VR poker app on um, Oculus where you can just play on a machine. You don't have to play with people, so no social anxiety. No real money, so it's not real gambling. I do not gamble in real life, because if there were anybody on the planet with worse luck than me, I would manage to lose, even to them. So, <laughs> so I do do it for fun, but we had, I think I told you guys, we did end up buying the casino, you know, the slots. And it's a good thing we did, because it turns out the company filed bankruptcy a year or so ago, or last year, something like that. It still kind of exists, but it's owned by another company. And all the downloads they had of casino games, they dropped it. Now, I know these companies can have 30 different business names, but the difference between that version of that game and that full game and the Windows Trails I've tried is like night and day. I really like it. It was worth every penny to get it. We were doing casino. So we got um, slots. We got poker. Once he thinks I'm back up to speed on poker, there's also blackjack. And I said to Loki, I said, how come you didn't teach me this? I would have. You won't pay attention. <laughs> but they were all really interested. And as many as is like, okay, what did you see in the video? What kind of hand are you holding? Is this a good hand? What cards are you going to hold? Think ahead. So <laughs> this channel, learn how to go. <laughs> But don't gamble for real money, guys. That would certainly be my my advice because you're going to find out you're going to over the long run unless you're like one of those poker stars and you're just naturally gifted at cards. You're going to find out you lose more than you win. Um, most of the people I know that claim to have won like say $500 or something, they don't tell you they went with $2,000 and they won back $500. You lost, you moron. So... <laughs> It's like, yeah, the, I think that's why he wanted me to have a casino game because you can bet a hundred to a thousand on a machine on each pull, and you can lose a thousand dollars just like that. It's like magic. So yeah, you can really lose your money really fast in a casino, <laughs> but it's a fun fantasy way to do it. So we've been enjoying ourselves, and we got the VR casino, the one we built together fixed perfectly. We exceeded the amount of megabytes. You can only have 500 items, so that's your item count, and you guys are sick of hearing that. You can only have 250 megabytes. I said megabytes, not gigabytes of stuff. That's like one pretty damn nice looking item is what that is. So <laughs> you have to go with what you have. Um, It just, it eats up space awfully fast and i can see them putting a cap on us because if they didn't we'd all have like 10 gigabyte well not 10 gigabyte but like you know 250 to 800 megabyte items and they do exist um so i can see them putting a cap on us but still it's frustrating because i couldn't put in a bunch of like really beautiful high and models because if each takes a uh, say your your cap on what you can um upload is fifteen thousand anyways but like if they were all 
like 15 megabytes is like 15,000 kilobytes. Um, you start learning this stuff really fast all over again. It, it takes up room pretty fast, is what I'm trying to say. So, you know, we've just been doing what we're doing, and we're pretty happy with the casino. I got him a poker table, kind of. It's a business table. And I got him poker chips, kind of. They're gold coins. So he has poker and he has slots. So he he's pretty happy. Um, Maybe we'll put in blackjack someday, but we've already hit the cap, so... Um, and Odin turned the Odin test lab, as we're calling his new fancy big mansion splash home that we end in, into a kind of place where he has his space and he has his stuff and don't touch his stuff. <laughs> I'm getting back here. But everybody that I didn't have room for that really didn't get represented has stuff. So Lord Ganesh has a temple now and we're just, we're doing a lot of stuff and to throw some goodies and treats on top of that Sunday of randomness. Um, I've been like, I don't know why, but I've been thinking about past lives lately. And I can be skeptical and then I can believe at the same time. But it's like, if we do have past lives, why don't we get to remember them at some point? Because, damn, that information would be useful, right? Can you imagine if you were a doctor in a past life? True, your medical experience would be out of date, but still, you could go to medical school in this life and you'd be the most damn gifted doctor ever. And people would be like, how are you doing that? So it's just, it's, it's like frustrating. And I've been talking to them. And if you ask the gods about stuff like that, what do you believe, my dear? Will you just tell me? No. And they'll tell you yes some days and they'll tell you no some days. So I don't know. But <sighs> we're having a fun time. We're playing blackjack and we're, um, you know, going to... Not playing blackjack, we're playing poker and we're going to the casino. There are a lot of blackjack games too, so I'll check those out. I just, I guess because my grandparents were really negative people, I got away from playing card games on purpose because I just thought that was the kind of people that play card games, but it was really fun to realize that I'm not so stupid that I can't figure out poker, so I feel like a super genius now. I, I, don't exactly remember the ranking of each hand, but it's like right there on the machine, so I can't lose. You know what I mean. I mean, the rankings are right there, and it's kind of like as you play, you're kind of learning and picking your skills back up. That's what I meant. You can certainly lose money. I've been losing it. So, <laughs> if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.